I'm a photographer, and during my trips, I've been meeting a lot of extraordinary people. The first person I met was Sergio Fallardo. Sergio was the mayor of Medellin. Medellin is a very violent city. And he had, when he wanted to be elected, he wanted to reduce violence. And what he did, because he was a mathematician, was, when he, was to divide the, the, the town into different areas, into different districts. And he said, if I want to reduce violence, I have to give equal opportunity to everybody. Because non-equal opportunity is a source of violence. So he divided the town in all pieces. And each quarter had to have the same amount of schools, the same amount of parks, the same amount of doctors, the same amount of water supply, the same amount of electricity. And when this was not possible, he would create cable cars that would go from one place to the other so that the people who couldn't get what they wanted would go in, to other places. By doing so, he reduced the criminality rate by more than threefold during his legislation. The next person is um, Janet Moffat. Janet Moffat is the headmaster of Wellcome University, uh, primary school, sorry, in London. <laughs> that university. <laughs> and uh, she uh, has more than 85% of her pupils that are, um, that are coming from the immigration and that don't have English as mother tongue. Nevertheless, she has a success ratio with her kids that is equal to the average of the United Kingdom average. So what um, does she do? She says, she told me two things. She said, the first thing is, they have a culture. You have to keep their culture. You have to respect their culture. Even if the school has very non-negotiable values, you have to keep their culture. Otherwise, they're going to go to the street, and they're going to use the culture of the street. She also said, because people don't understand, you explain them the context and not only the content of what you are teaching them. By doing so, I met also other people. I met Runa Khan, who changed boats into hospitals, Teddy Blatcher, who transformed, made a university for the poor in South Africa. We met Fiona today, who was working so well for trying to cure people. And all those people have something in common that I call extratitude. We're going to talk only about three of them tonight. The first thing I think extraordinary people work in their ecosystem. They don't go far away. They don't go to Mali to do something. They work in their ecosystem. And there, they know the people, they know the culture, they know the rules, they know everything. They are much more efficient. The second thing, people have non-negotiable values. Fiona said, I have to have people cured as fast as possible. That was her non-negotiable values for 10, 10 years, she told. Um, Fayadro said, I want equal opportunity. Every extraordinary person has non-negotiable value. And with that, he can have a lot of charisma because by, he can say yes or no very quickly. That's what extraordinary people are about. The last thing is, they have out-of-the-box solutions. They think differently. They come with solutions that don't exist when they decide to tackle a problem. Very often, a small issue on a big problem. And to end, I would like to use Mohammed Yunus' uh, expression, which uh, I met while I was doing his portrait. He said to me, and I think it's a very important thing, if you take the same road, you will get to the same point. And I think that's quite important. If you want to tackle a problem, please take another road.